And I remember having to tell my pediatrician the news that I was gay. I wasn't out to anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, and I said to her, you know, with a sad face, long face, I said, I I'm gay. And um, she brightened up her face with a smile and she said, me too. I pair reports courtesy of the Trevor Project shine a light on the importance of a supportive adult voice in the lives of LGBTQ youth. Studies say just having at least one accepting adult in their lives reduced the chance of a suicide attempt uh, by LGBTQ youth by 40%. So today's question is, where did you find your strength coming to terms with your sexuality? And if you had that support, would you have taken it? Hmm. Guys, I don't know because I remember as a kid, if somebody even opened the conversation about being gay, I always thought, they're trying to, like, they're testing me. I, I don't know, I had that little voice in my head. What about you guys? Um, I don't know for me, because this conversation is always so different for me because I always had so much support, like, especially for my family and adults around me. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I couldn't really relate to kind of like the, stories of being like shunned out of the family or anything. So, but I think also that comes from maybe growing up a little bit like more in this generation as opposed to when times were a little bit more conservative. I in guess. the Old Testament. I know, I, I, try, I try not to make it about that. Like, I feel like what's, what's so imperative for LGBTQ youth is that we are affirmed at the right moments in our lives where we need it. And it sounds like your family unit really uh, came around and supported you as soon as they might have suspected that you were showing signs or whatever that means of being gay, that they yeah. wanted you to know there's all kinds of people in the world and affirmed you all along. Yeah. Now I came from a Southern Baptist family, so my dad's mm -hmm. a minister. And I remember having to tell my pediatrician the news that I was gay, I wasn't out to anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, and I said to her, you know, with a sad face, long face, I said, I I'm gay. And um, she brightened up her face with a smile and she said, me too. Oh, that's awesome. And I went, what? You don't look gay. Because she had like long hair and she just winds up her fist and punches me in the shoulder. And I was like, okay, now you look gay. <laughs> and, and I just, if that moment hadn't have been a moment of affirmation for me, how differently my life could have gone. Mm. Um, so I think it's imperative to not only have adult figures who care, but who affirm us in those life-changing moments. Well, I think that one of the, the biggest things about being part of the community and being gay is your self-confidence. Mm -hmm. And it, it really, varies depending on how your loved ones respond when you're a kid to finding out that you're gay. Now in this particular subject we're talking about suicide and how it affects kids you know to to you know how to deal with you know wanting to kill themselves. Mm -hmm. Did you ever want to kill yourselves? I, I I had suicidal thoughts. Oh. I'm to a point where I just you guys as I was sharing with you guys to a point one time I jumped out of a car on a freeway and I crazy stuff. I was being a brat but I was kind of like rebelling against being gay and 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 the consequences of mm -hmm. it. Um, mm -hmm. maybe if I would have had somebody who would have helped me a little bit better and I don't want to put it like I, I want to take responsibility for my actions. Mm -hmm. But maybe if I would have had somebody to talk to, I would have reacted differently. So how much of that, like, because we were talking before the cameras came on about what mm -hmm. happened, um, which is very brave of you to share that, that you had jumped out of a car because it was your first relationship and you didn't realize, not to put your business out there, but to, no, that you didn't no. realize that, um, how, maybe almost how to handle that, the relationship dynamic. So how much of that would have been um, sort of relieved if you had had Affirm affirmative gay couples maybe during that time period to look up to to show us how to be in relationships? Well, and at least I think like that we're at least having this conversation mm -hmm. and the studies are out there. So mm -hmm. the resources yeah. are out there and I want to invite everybody to please visit the Trevor Project page. Yeah. And if you're ever thinking about committing suicide, you're not alone and there are resources out there for you. Mm -hmm.